it's Jody here and welcome back to my channel or hello for the very first time. Today we are going to have a battle, an epic battle between makeup brands and products and I'm super excited about this one. I've been wanting to do it for a little while but I needed to do some research. I needed to play around with both products a bit more before I finally made my final say. Today we have in the brownie gold shorts in the left hand corner Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Much beloved and hyped about here on YouTube versus the new player in the game, the Kat Von D Locket setting powder in translucent. Da 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 da. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm over it. So I wanted to pair these two products head to head, mainly because this one is so hyped, and yet for some reason I'm in love with this one. So I wanted to kind of figure out why and if there was some sort of method to my madness or reasoning behind it. So let's get into it through the nitty gritty. Let's compare the packaging. Both of them are sort of in a slightly frosted, translucent kind of plastic glass. Both have a round lid on the top. Height comparison is hard to show you just in my hands, but the Kat Von D one is just like that much higher. It's a scotch taller and it's a scotch bigger around than the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. The packaging on the Laura Mercier looks very kind of luxe. It almost kind of has a skincare feel to it. Well, the Kat Von D one, you can see the powder going on inside and it feels very much more makeup-y. If I had to pick between the two of these on packaging alone, I would probably give it to the Laura Mercier. It's a little bit slicker. The slightly smaller packaging makes it easier to throw in a travel bag. It makes it easier to store in some of the shorter kind of drawers. It's just, it's just all around a little easier to use. You guys see that the holes in the top of this one are a bunch of very little holes where the ones in the Kat Von D one are very much round and in the shape of the famous Kat Von D star. I'm gonna let you know on a day-to-day -day using it basis. Overall, if I don't have all this powder buildup in the top of these for moving them around quite so much, I'm gonna let you guys know that I do like the sifter in the Laura Mercier one better. You have a little bit more, better control as to how much powder comes out compared to the Kat Von D. The holes are a bit bigger in here. The difference between the two is minimal, but overall I'm gonna give the packaging winner to Laura Mercier. Now, for you guys, so you know for price point, Laura Mercier comes with one full ounce, and on the Sephora website, Canada runs $47. But if you think that's pricey, we have 0.67 ounce in the bigger packaging from Kat Von D, and it runs you 38. So neither one of these is in a super, super cost-effective range, depending on the kind of powder that you use in your makeup life. If you are someone who bakes and such a lot, these might be a little out of your price range for that. If you're someone like me who uses powder generally in a minimal amount, I don't bake very, very often. It's just, it's just not my thing. I just don't have the patience for that. <laughs> Uh, in general, I usually use it as a setting device and to set my under eye concealer and to set my foundation. Then products like this that are a little pricier in this price point aren't too terribly bad for me because they do last me quite a while because I'm not packing it on my face. If I'm gonna pack it on my face, I am 100% gonna go for my RCMA No Color Powder any day of the week or the airspun, Cody airspun powder. That's, it's a fantastic powder, but if I wanna bake or anything like that, I'm putting that kind of volume of powder on, these aren't the kind of guys I like. So in their claims to fame, both of these are a setting powder, both of them claim to be translucent. Kat Von D's has one color and one color only that they state is good for all skin tones. I cannot entirely 100% attest to that because I am only one skin tone, so I can't really make myself that much darker or lighter to test it on. However, we will let you know that some of the big guys that have been out there for a long time, like the RC Manual Color Powder, they only have one color of powder. When it comes to the Laura Mercier powder, this, however, has two separate colors. I have the light to medium, but there is a medium to deep, which makes me go, hmm, how translucent are you really if you've gotta have different colors for different skin tones? Just Putting that out there, the Laura Mercier claims to be a matte finish with a sheer touch of coverage, which I think is, is why I struggle with this one actually being called translucent, 
because it's not really translucent if you <laughs> do you know what I mean if you gotta have two different colors of a translucent powder based on your skin tone then it isn't really actually see-through which is the meaning of the word translucent so I, I'm not a real fan of this being called translucent powder but we're gonna leave it at that so Kat Von D's claims to fame are that it is ultra lightweight lighter than a lot of the other powders on the market that you can buy that it's non-drying so it's not gonna lose the luminosity in your skin which I highly agree with and poor blurring when it comes to the ingredients in these guys a lot of the ingredients are the same in them both include talc both include magnesium myosteritis <laughs> this is why I hate talking about ingredients because I can't pronounce them both include nylon 12 both include soybean oil and a bunch of other things that I cannot pronounce the big difference is that talc magnesium mystrate are the top two contenders with this one and with the Kat Von D here we have mica as its top ingredient then talc then magnesium carburate and then the magnesium myostritate so the the um, ingredients list while very similar do have some pretty dramatic and pretty big differences between the two here's another big thing that you need to know about the two of them Kat Von D is 100% certified vegan yay Yay to our animal friends, where Laura Mercier is not. Here's the things, information that I can find on this powder specifically, is that it is not tested on animals and that it's cruelty free. But I couldn't find any information, I don't know enough about ingredients to tell you if this is actually vegan. And the other thing that you guys need to know about Laura Mercier products is while they claim to be do not test on animals. They have absolutely, as far as I could find, no cruelty-free certification. So if that's something that's imp important to you, that's something big to know between these two. Now at this point, you guys have heard all of the on paper pros and cons, looking at it, and I'm guessing you guys wanna know who I think is the winner. <clears throat> Packaging this Kat Von D setting powder for me is amazing. It gives me an airbrushed, flawless finish more than any other translucent setting powder I have ever, ever used. And the reason that I say that is I have always, over and above this, loved my RC May No Color Powder, but this is lighter on the skin. The other thing that the Kat Von D one that Laura Mercier does not do is somehow it magically blurs my pores. I don't even use a pore uh, kind of filling primer when I know I'm gonna set with this because this works so well. I also find that because I'm not shoving things deep, deep into my pores on a regular basis and I'm blurring it with something like this, that um, my pores have become a little less clogged and over time my texture is becoming better. And now, my skincare routine has gotten better as well. So I'm not saying that this is a skincare product and will replace all else. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that for someone like me who has a lot of texture, a lot of texture, especially on my cheeks, and I have very, very large, deep, ugly, aggressive pores, that this works better than any kind of primer I have used, any kind of foundation I have used, and any other powder that I have used for my face for actually blurring these pores. And this is the kind of thing that I have been hunting for forever. So hands down, because of how it feels, because of how lightweight it is, and the miracle it does to my skin, and the fact that it is a true translucent powder, I have to give the win to Kat Von D. And the crowd goes well. <sighs> I'm not going to negate people's views on the Laura Mercier powder this is a beautiful powder and I do really really like it but when it comes hands down when these two bad boys are all gone which one am I gonna actually repurchase and I think Laura Mercier is gonna be saying bye bye to us all and Kat Von D will probably be here to stay I would love to hear you guys thoughts questions comments concerns dilemmas regarding these two products how long I've owned them if you guys want to know how, how how many months I've been trying the two of these or anything like that to come to my conclusion please let me know in the comments down below and as always guys you know the drillio please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already it would be greatly appreciated and as always guys thank you so much for stopping by I will see you all next time